I did see one game Lunchables was going crumb, so I don't know if I don't know if he's like swapping between the two or if he just abandoned Roy. But uh, either way, they're you know crumbs an echo, so I don't know. the the playstyle can transfer over pretty well. All right, but here we go into game one of apparently winners finals. Oh yeah, winners finals. <laughs> this is top three, <laughs> best of five for the money. <laughs> All right, we are standing still. Here we go. Oh, now we're moving. Things are happening. All right, and uh, I I would say Lucario kind of struggles to get in against swords, but Roy's sword is very unique in the fact that he doesn't use it for spacing necessarily. Like he can, but that's not where it's most effective. Yeah, it won't be so much for body him, but I also know Lucario does not have the best disadvantage, which hurts against Roy a lot. Oh yeah, Roy is super fast, super good at covering your landings, juggling you with up air. So it is going to be a, pretty difficult for Omega to land. Uh, probably going to see a lot of those uh, B-reverse uh, wave bounce uh, aura spheres that we see from him. Oh, oh my goodness, that down tilt actually poking. Trying to find his way back on stage, back air, probably not the answer. Probably thought he was going to stand there. Yeah, and uh, Seti is schmoovin' right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How does Omega get stage control? I don't know, but looks like he has a little now. Going for these B-reverse. Oh. I know he loves all the Lucario tech. Man, Roy and Krom F-tilt is disgusting. <laughs> it ledge traps, it kills, like, it, it converts off of Nair 1. At least, Roy, you can kind of stay away from it. Krom? Oh, will hit you from wherever. Cross <laughs> the stage, on the platform. Yeah, Take with, your pick. with his arm like flopping all over the <laughs> ground, the hitbox still active. I hate that. <laughs> oh, oh my the goodness! Zoom in at fifty-four percent. Oh, that's a frame trap. <laughs> oh yeah, I I think it, it, oh up air wow. kills. I think that gets the zoom in once Lucario has a lot of aura and it's like more powerful. But uh, yeah, Omega bringing that. Oh my. How did he get on the other side? I'm not sure. He must have just gotten <laughs> under him before he landed. Roy is faster. He's faster than lightning. You can't keep up with this character. And, uh... Said he getting a nice double-edged dance there. We haven't seen... Okay, yeah, we're gonna see a couple more grabs from him. And, uh... It's, it's just pretty difficult for Omega to get his, uh... His combo started right now. Yep. Well, yeah, a little bit of an unsafe back. End. Honestly, it might be better for him to commit a little more to just shoot Nora Sphere, keeping Roy out, because once Roy's in his face, he just doesn't have the moves to keep up. Yeah. Lucario is still winning. Lucario is <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. Lucario is winning. Yeah, he, he's glowing right now. Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah, if, if he's not able to get a couple good hits, then all this aura won't even matter. Yeah. Oh, there's a oh good back air. God. Very good spacing on that. You hit it pretty much as low to the ground as possible. Ouch. Man, that F-tilt hurts. Omega has not been able to find his footing in neutral for a good stock here. Yeah. And you saw there he did the aura sphere into a shield, but he canceled it pretty quickly, whereas uh, like in Smash 4, he'd be able to hold that for a long period of time, but now there's a gap in the hitbox. Right, okay. and uh, he's gonna make it back on stage, but uh, he has to find a way to get some damage on Seti right now. And I'd love to see him get if he can. Ooh, good grab. See if he can get this ledge trap. Oh, oh that was that, that was, was a bold counter. Yeah, Didn't he, pay off. He just hesitated a little bit and then reacted to the situation. Yeah. Okay, Med, uh, Seti was definitely going for the uh, either the raw back air or the attack cancel back air, um, messing up the confirm off jab a little bit. Yeah, but Omega's got a stock, which is pretty big. Oh my, yeah. Uh, he, he went for the wall the wall jump just to mix up his recovery, but down tilt covered that anyway. Ooh. Oh. That's, I always forget about that. Yeah, exactly. It, it, sometimes you're like, oh, Lucario's doing his recovery. I have all the time in the world to set up my edge guard. And I like Omega's just... patience getting back on stage there. Oh my, and wow. Omega oh. looking a little bit in control. What? The two frame with Aura Sphere robs oh. the game from Seti. Oh. That that's fair. He was in disadvantage for so long and just wins. Oh, he hit him with the big bang attack. Wow, great comeback from Omega. <laughs> yeah, and you know, no no matter how they change Lucario or update him in patches, he's pretty much always gonna be the same at heart. You know. 
he he kind of struggles early percent, but then late percent, you know, he's never losing until he's dead. Oh, yeah. Like, as, as much as they tone down the aura, you know, it's still always going to be like that, pretty much. Yeah, Sudi, I think, really needed to close out that stock before uh, he was down to his own last stock, but... Yeah, if he got that jab to back air, actually, it could have uh, put Omega in a pretty bad position and, you know, changed the tides a little bit, but, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. We're going to go to Yoshi's uh, story right here. I, I can agree with this pick. I know, just like any sword, Roy does pretty well on Battlefield. Yeah, and a fast faller sword at that, so Ooh. those up air juggles are definitely going to be lethal here. And that side B does so much shield damage, but good on Omega keeping him away until that shield recovers. Uh, fighting Lucario is funny. Sometimes I feel like, you know, maybe I should just let him beat me up in the beginning so that I can kill him with rage <laughs> before he gets his aura. Yeah. A and then he never lets you land and you're like, oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's honestly just best to play the game like normal. Just make sure you don't do anything risky once he has aura. <laughs> yeah. You just, you really have to... He has to be a little bit specific with how he kills, like uh, setting up for a command grab or, you know, just getting yeah. an aura sphere or ledge trap or a, a raw a raw back air. But yeah. if you're watching out for those, then uh, you can live pretty long against him, actually. Lucario doesn't have the down throw up air in this game, right? Um, I, I, oh, oh my goodness, that killed so early. I don't know that down throw will confirm, but I think up throw still does. Oh, does it still? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. it was up throw in the last game too. I just yeah, down throw was like that awkward middle child throw that no nobody really cared about or paid attention to, never stood out. I think I'm I'm seeing Seti do a lot of these double edge dance. Ooh, good back air. Oh my! I think I, he I, just messed up a little there because yeah. I think Lucario could have made that back. Yeah, I think so for sure. Uh, just seemed like he he started curving a little bit earlier than he expected. Ooh. Oh, going for some sort of hard read at this low percent. <laughs> So bold. And Omega is too. Wow, okay. We're, Just we're throwing reading. out smash attacks here. <laughs> oh, these, these men live in the library, all these reads. Good tech there. And I'm glad I'm seeing Seti switch it up a little with these forward tilts. He was using a lot of double edge dances for his uh, lead traps there for a bit. Omega was getting off kind of free. That's how he got the first stop. Yeah, he will probably just want to stick to that down tilt or uh That's you know. probably what he's trying to do. Oh, yes, though. Of course, the wall shenanigans that he's always been doing since Smash 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got him on the highlight reel against Shobbs. We'll never forget. <laughs> okay, oh, good, just good forward air. Yeah, just drop zone forward air. Like, you have to avoid my sword somehow. You can't just occupy this space. And again, we're in the situation where seti has got his second stock left, so Lucario might struggle to kill a little bit. Exactly. This is prime position for Seti. Omega gonna have to work harder here. Yeah, we'll see if... Yeah, and uh, interesting to note, said he was actually just straight up able to shield grab him out of the uh, aura sphere to a uh, down air on shield setup. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah, that that definitely doesn't seem as potent anymore. Oh, bad idea off stage. Oh, yeah, just a little bit too aggressive there. Probably getting a little bit antsy to take this stock up because he knows what Lucario can do. Very good down tilt. That, uh, that slant is actually helping him a little. Oh no! I don't know what happened. He just the up back air, just the 55 frame rule. He he did the die. <laughs> that he did. The not the livent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're going on to game three. Let me interesting to see where. Where we go? I know Omega always liked the uh, Omega Wily Castle. Oh, Kalos would make sense. Yeah, any stage with walls, I suppose, and with the way the stages are set up, you can't avoid a wall. It's there, like, there's gonna be something. Yeah, this is basically like Wily Castle except with platforms. Yeah, is Unova part of this stage list? I want to. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, hey, there there'll be a wall no matter how you ban. All right, here we go. Let's see who can pull out this game three. Seti got the lead in both of the last two games, just different outcomes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, Lucario matchups against him. It's just about who's getting the 
who's getting the comeback kill at high percent? You know, no matter how the how the beginning of the match plays, just who finishes it out. Ooh, good counter. Yeah. Knows said he's getting a little aggressive with those side B's at ledge. Yeah, very good reaction to the air dodge afterwards as well. But uh, yeah, Roy just evened up that percent in like half the hits. <laughs> well, good parry. Yeah, he was clearly ready for that. Well, I think after he got that air dodge, he might have wanted to grab rather than F smash. Yeah, I'd say so. And uh, yeah, Omega. Okay, yeah, he he hasn't been using. Oh Whoa. my goodness! <laughs> what was that? Yeah, he definitely wanted the command grab there, but uh, just getting the uh, projectile hitbox instead. Oh, oh read the, the spot weight. Dodge. What's yeah. up with all these smash oh attacks in neutral by both of them? When your character has <laughs> such high shield stun, you, you feel privileged to do that. Moving a little bit. <laughs> Army. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And he will flare. <laughs> oh, Pikachu berry. F smash. And the okay. limit cross slash side P. Oh my god, that he killed He died him. at 90. That's ridiculous. You'd think Roy has aura with a, with all this power. Um, Said he's running a little bit with the lead here. Yeah. And, you know, I can see why Omega's... He's not really using Aura Sphere too much in neutral just because Roy is so fast. And, you know, he closed the gap just like that. And, uh, you, you know, you don't want to give him that time. Oh, good jump read. <laughs> Three straight Aura Spheres takes the stop. Yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What do you do against jab on shield? You just wait for the second jab. That's what you do. <laughs> they always—they're always gonna jab twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's—it's it's like, uh, it's like an RPG. There, you know, it's not your turn to play yet. <laughs> it, it's still my turn. And, yeah, not able to keep his his juggle up, and now said he has the advantage state. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Back these to yeah these spot dodges, you can tell are out of fear just because he doesn't want to get grabbed by Lucario at all. Oh, good air dodge! Oh my short hop air dodge. Okay, oh. so we're playing brawl now. Going for the two frame, not quite. Oh, oh. and reads it again. That's the second oh. straight stock to jump read or sphere. I, I swear, Omega's ledge traps are as good as Sue's Lucario. Oh. And uh, now Omega and Prime position. 21 damage. To just... Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last stock. Yeah, prime position to get F smashed, apparently. And, uh, man, it, these players are so evenly matched right now. It's, it's so scary. Um, Right now, Roy can just do a bunch of damage off of one grab. Good probably. trap. Oh, are, you are you dead? Are you dead? Oh, I think he saved him. Oh, oh my goodness. He took a lot of damage for that. But yeah, he, he's oh, just not able to pin Tomahawk. Omega down right now. I, I think he's... Does uh, he have a jump? Okay. Yeah, I think said he's just second-guessing all his approaches right now, and Omega's kind of taking advantage of that. But now he's got advantage. Goes off stage again. Oh my gosh, these wall shenanigans. It's just one side B from Lucario. We'll probably do it. But one F smash from Roy. Oh my gosh, the game of chicken said he grabs first. Oh uh, my god! Wow, I think he wanted to grab, but he, he rolled. Ooh, I don't know if that's air. intentional. Ledge trap. Oh, I thought that was going to be a dash oh. attack, honestly. Or a skid cancel death tilt. Oh, what's that? Very good mix up on shield. Good tech. Yeah, said he clearly oh, plays anime good. fighters as well. And Remembers can... that Lucario's up, he has the hitbox at the end. Just forward tilts him, clean conversion. Oh, that was very down to the wire, and uh, props to Seti for taking that set. Yeah, very um, nice job. You know, 